Hey everyone, it's Kayla from The Casual Crafter. Today we're going to be doing some winter slash Christmas DIYs. So make sure you cozy up, grab a flannel, grab a hot cocoa, and let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so here I'm just taking a frame I made out of paint sticks and some Jenga blocks from Dollar Tree. And I'm just putting, I cut a piece of poster board down to fit inside there. I made this a while ago. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on it. Here I'm just taking some scrapbook paper I got at Hobby Lobby with the shiplap background and I'm going to be cutting that out and just gluing that on with the glue stick, making sure I try and line up the lines on the other piece as well. Here I got this truck from Dollar Tree, which I'm going to be painting, and then I got the fresh cut sign from a window cling from Walmart, I believe. I'm just here kind of laying out what my idea is for it. I'm just taking some black acrylic paint, as well as like a dark red. I'm going to be mixing that dark red with a lighter red to give it brightness, but also make it a more muted red tone. So I'm going to go through and paint the truck. I believe I do end up giving it two coats of the red. Then here I'm just taking some of that green paint and mixing a little bit of the two colors to paint that tree in the back. But first I'm going to go through with the black paint and paint the wheels. So once that's done, I'm going to be adding a little bit of the green with the black paint to add some detail to the tree and just kind of brushing that on. And then I'm going to do a similar thing with the red paint and just kind of add some details where I like, where I think they look good. Add a little more depth and dimension to the piece. There's my truck. So I'm going to try to find the center and line that up. Then I'm taking my fresh cut window cling. Here, this is the sheet I got. It was only 98 cents at Walmart. So I'm just going to be taking some Mod Podge and putting that on the back. Once that's down, I'm going to be gluing the truck in place. Then I do go back over with a little bit more of that Mod Podge. I use my finger, you can probably use a better tool than me, but just to make sure it's really stuck on there. Then I took this wall sticker set that I got at Dollar General, and I used the EST and the 1915. I just felt like the sign was missing something, so I added that. Had I bought the sticker set before I started making the sign, I probably would have just used the stickers in it instead of the window cling.
So moving on, I'm going to be making some fabric trees. I'm just taking this infinity scarf that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be laying it out. And I made a little tree shape out of some paper that I'm going to be tracing around. So I'm just going to trace around that under the fabric and then cut it out. Once I have two of my trees cut out, I'm going to be trimming the edges just to make sure it's a little cleaner. You could use a rotary blade. I didn't have one when I was making this, so. And then I'm also going to use some different fabrics as well. Here I'm taking some white and black buffalo check that I believe I got just in a, like a fabric square from Walmart. So once those are cut out, I'm going to be hot gluing along the edges. You could always flip it inside out and do it that way, like a pillow, however, I didn't think it was necessary for mine. It probably would have looked a little bit better, a little nicer on the edges, but see, I work in sections so the hot glue doesn't dry before I get to push it down. And then I'm just going to be taking some filler. This is actually stuffing left over from dog toys. I've mentioned that I use that in the past, but my dog destroys her toys and I always keep the stuffing that comes out of them. And then I'm just hot gluing the end, leaving an area in the middle that I can stick the dowel in. These dowels I just got from Dollar Tree. I did the same thing with the red and black buffalo check one as well. And here I'm just taking some of those tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. I'm drilling a hole in it and then see big enough for the dowel to fit in. And then I end up stacking two of the tumbling tower blocks together for the base. I'm just going to be painting those with the Waverly chalk paint and truffle. First I'll attach it with the hot glue and then I'll attach the bottom block as well and then I go through and paint it. You can obviously paint these beforehand and before even putting the dowel in the top part but it was an afterthought for me. So here I'm taking these gift bags I got at Dollar General and one of these signs that I got at Dollar Tree. I know they're kind of hard to find, but any little shadow box will work. This one was nice in particular because it was kind of like a picture frame. It just came out the back. But I try to rip off that back. It's not a huge deal. It won't really show through anyway. So taking this bag from Dollar General, I'm just going to cut off the front part of it. I really like the warm and cozy sign on the front. And you get these two bags for a dollar, so I feel like that's a pretty good deal. You can always use the back side of it as well if you want. And this fit pretty much perfectly in that little frame, which was really nice. I, you could cut it down, obviously, if you have a bigger bag. 
Then moving on, I'm taking one of these little shadow boxes I got at Dollar Tree and cutting off the little tractor. And then I was going to be using a window cling. Again, that window cling sheet I got from Walmart. I'm just going to be using the sign one. Once I get that tractor trimmed off and everything, I'm going to peel off the stickers and kind of sand it down. Then I'm just taking some leftover scrapbook paper, again with that shiplap, just tracing it out. Once that's cut, I'm just going to be using a glue stick to glue it on. So here I'm going to be using the Mod Podge on the back of the window cling. Again, I'm using my finger. You can obviously use like a brush or something. But I'm just going to line that up and press it down. And then I just Mod Podge over the top of it. I was running out of Mod Podge in this particular case. Then I just trim off the end of that window cling because it was a bit long. Then I put it back in the shadow box. I put a little hot glue in each of the corners just so it'll stay. And then I didn't like how there was that top there so I painted over the back of it just with some black acrylic paint so it'll blend in better. And I think this works really well. Both of these work really well for tiered trays. Again, I got this bag at Dollar Tree, and I'm using this unicorn picture frame that they had at Dollar Tree. They were running out of shadow boxes at mine to use, so I picked this one up, and it was long and skinny enough that it would fit the entire word from this bag. I thought this bag was beautiful. It's the black and white trees with the wood believe. I've only seen it at the one Dollar Tree I've been to, and I haven't seen it anywhere else, but if you can find it, I would definitely snatch it up. Here I'm just measuring out so that I make sure I can fit the actual word in my frame. And then I just go through and cut on the back side. The front side had glitter on the believe, which I wasn't very interested in. Then I'm just using that frame to let me know where I should cut it. Once it's all cut out, I'm going to be gluing that to the back of the frame, just with a glue stick. And I work in sections just so that I can get it all glued before it dries. And here I had to readjust a bit. I just use the glue sticks from Dollar Tree. They seem to work well enough for what I use them for, so. So I actually went through and painted the frame. I gave it a base coat with like a chalk paint and then I'm just going over with acrylic paint again. The chalk paint wasn't like a true black to me and I wanted it to be like a true black color. And it was a plastic frame so I didn't know how well, I didn't know how many coats I was gonna have to do with the acrylic paint if I didn't do the chalk paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and like and leave a comment down below what your favorite item I made today was or leave a comment of what your favorite thing to do in the holiday season is. I really like spending time with family. So if you like this content, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Bye.